Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Don Gaster Ball, Bob Bill for Theme Parks and welcome to this trip preview. Now this was a very, um, <laughs> a very last minute, um, decision um but today we're going to be previewing the upcoming trip on saturday november 13th to york dungeon now obviously this is one of the terrifying midway attractions by millen entertainment uh, located in york and i really can't wait for this yeah i haven't been to york dungeon for a good year or so now so it's going to be really great to get back there, see everything, see what's on offer, see what guidelines they've been following, of course, during COVID times and sort of, you know, what's left there, obviously with the, the whole restrictions going down and stuff like that, you know, at the time of recording this, it's going to be interesting to see how um, it operates now. Now... We are going to be going through descriptions via the website of each individual scene. I'm going to share my final thoughts and wrap up the video. So, before we get started, guys, make sure you do like the video if you loved it. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Subscribe if you are new around here. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. We're on the road to 2,700 subs. We're nearly halfway already to 2,700 subs. Let's get there as soon as possible. Also, guys, check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you buy the camera can submit your own video ideas. And for now, guys, let's have a look at what lies inside the York Dungeon. So first of all, we start off and we kick off with York Minster. As you enter the Minster, heading even deeper into the dungeon itself, meet father slash sister Abostus and hear the Saxon Chronicles of our land, Irifwick. Be careful as the Vikings approach by the second, heed all words and warnings, and above all else, watch out for those named Eadwick. Next up, you're stepping in the Vengeance of the Vikings. You're at the heart of the Viking invasion in 866 AD, and the last thing you wanted as a trembling Saxon is to bump into fearless Viking warrior Snort's short sword. And his arrogance and stupidity is as funny as it is dangerous. He introduced you to viper pits, slavery, blood eagles, and more. Your day gets absolutely worse in the York Plague House. It looks like you've been wandering through the plague infested streets of York 1551. Oh dear. Unluckily for you, the plague doctor's surgery is nearby. Step inside and meet his assistant who will happily check your sweaty bits for any signs of infection. A word of advice, be careful where you sit. Next, get a drink in the Golden Fleece pub. It's late into the stormy night and walking through the narrow shambles has made you desperate for a drink and some warmth. Enter the Gold Fleece Inn and come face to face with the unearthing landlord, who will tell you the tragic tale of two Williams and the hangman's noose. Keep your eyes peeled and you might feel the presence of someone else in the room. Guy Fawkes might have been caught underneath the House of Parliament, but his story began in York, where he was born in 1517. You're about to meet him, well, what's left of him. Discover what actually happened on the 5th of November, 1605. The plot behind gunpowder and treason and exactly what happened to Guy across 10 days of torture. Do interviews make you nervous? This one will have you screaming. Meet the torturer of York Castle. He's passionate about his job, good with his hands and knows what how to work his way around your body. It's just a shame that his objective is to tear you limb from limb and inflict unimaginable pain. Enjoy, if you can. Order in the court. You now stand in the presence of Lord Chief Justice Venerable Vernon Pollard IV, the most revered judge in all of York. Sharp as a hawk, they'll find any and every guilty peasant in your group one way or another. You cannot escape the long arm of the law, it's 1405 and you find yourself at the front of Micklegate Bar. The executioner will be there soon to practice your booze and cheers. After all, no execution is complete without a good baying mob. But wait, there's a the rumours of a traitorous southerner in the crowd. Let's just hope it isn't you. The Curse of the Witch is based on the story of the infamous Isabella Billington from Pocklington. She claims this all a mistake after all, witches don't really exist. Do they? 
Watch and wait. These are the final moments before execution. Maybe she will convince you she's innocent. And finally, step into the darkened carriage and hold on to your valuables. There's rumors of highwaymen prowling the area, and the most vicious one of all is said to have returned. So that's a look inside what scenes are available in the description of the scenes inside the York Dungeon. Now I'm going to share my final thoughts going into tomorrow's trip. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages. That is speaking about the scenes in question at the York Dungeon. Now, you'll notice from previous York Dungeon experiences, there are ob obvious scenes missing. Now, of course, there was the uh, Margaret, I think it was Margaret Lithgow. I think that's the name of the uh, one of the former scenes. That is definitely missing. That's one of the biggest sort of I, I, things that I've noticed. Um, the Margaret Lithgow scene where he's sort of looking for, for Margaret and um, go through this mirror maze and things happen and then you go out. That's missing. Now, I've got a feeling that might have been closed off due to the COVID-19 restrictions, but it um, should be interesting to see whether they reopen that next year or maybe it's closed because they are not only because of the restrictions. I think it's very clear it's closed because of the restrictions and how compact a mirror maze is. But maybe there's now something more to that why they're not opening up straight away after the restrictions have gone down. Maybe they could be reimagining that scene in the future. Who knows? Um, but I think overall it should be a very decent experience indeed. I know the staff are going to welcome me and my group with open arms, you know, whichever group I'm in. Um, you know, we're going to welcome them all into the experience. It's going to be an absolute treat. And um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited for this. I really, really am. Um, you yeah, know, with all the theme parks closed now for the winter season, and, the, uh, you know, obviously parks do Christmas events, but obviously, you know, the main season is over. Um, and the close season blooms, blues dawns upon the theme park community once again uh, for the next two, three months. But, um, you know, there's still a lot of attractions on the Midway and a lot of attractions in different uh, towns and things like that to, to just go and experience, really. And... Um, you know, I may, I may bring out more than one vlog. I'm, I'm thinking about bringing out more than one vlog. I might be going to the York Railway Museum. I might have a look at, um, you know, York Castle. You know, there's a million different things that I want to go and see in York. So, um, you know, we'll see. I mean, I've heard about a, a York's Chocolate Story attraction. Not too sure if I'm going in there yet. But, um, you know, if I decide to do that, I'm looking forward to it. Um, so there might be a whole slew of content coming out of York on Saturday, so, um, and that content's going to spread, you know, across the week, so, uh, really excited to, to do all of that. But there we are, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and for now, my name is Coast Chell, keep living the coast life, if you're going to York on Saturday, comment down below, and hopefully I'll see you there, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon, take care, guys, have a dungeon-tastic day. Ooh, it's terrifying.